This video is on key features of a function. We are doing examples 7 and 8, functions without context. So again, these have no word problems. It's just a graph, and it asks us to answer questions. So given the graph h of x to the right, identify and describe the following. So h of 4, again, this means that x is 4. So when x is equal to 4, we find the function, the y value is at 2. So h of 4 is equal to 2. b is asking h of negative 1. So the x is negative 1. So on the x-axis, negative 1, find the function, it's at negative 3. So we say the h of negative 1 is equal to negative 3. And these would be coordinates, 4, 2, and negative 1, negative 3. For c, if h of x is equal to negative 1, Again, this means that we do not have the x value, we have the y value. So the y value is negative 1. So we want to go to that y value of negative 1 right here, and it actually hits twice. If I graph that, negative 1, it hits at positive 1, negative 1, and then negative 5, negative 1. So we can say that the x values are at this coordinate is at negative 5, negative 1, so negative 5. And we also have 1, negative 1, so x is equal to positive 1. On part D, it is asking us when h of x is equal to 4, so the y value is equal to 4. So we come up here at 4, and it will actually, it will hit twice because this arrow does keep going. I don't know what that exact value is at the moment, but I can see that it is hitting that x equals 6, but it will also hit over here as well. So if we look, we can maybe be able to determine where it will hit. So we can see that as I'm going up by 1, I'm going left by 1. Up 1, left 1. So then at, I want to get to here. So right now this is at negative 6. This would be negative 7. This would be negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. So I will actually hit it at negative 10 as well. So we can say that the x values are at negative 10 and the x value at positive 6. Because of the arrow, we know that's going to keep going, so we have to know that even though we can't see it happening, we have to know that those arrows mean that it will keep going. So this will intersect again. We just have to find it. And we can use that, we can figure that out by figuring out what the rate of change is, how it's changing. As my x's go to the right, I'm going up by 1. Right one, up one. Right one, up one. And I can follow that along to go to the left as well. Next question is identify the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, this one spot right here. This is at negative uh, 2, so that's the coordinate of 0, comma, negative 2. Identify the x-intercept or intercepts. When does it cross the x-axis? So here's our x-axis. Here's 1 but here's another one. So then we can say the x-intercepts are at negative 6, 0, and at positive 2, 0. Find the minimum. So again, the minimum is the lowest value on the graph, so the lowest point on the graph is right here. This is the coordinate of, so the coordinate is at negative 2, negative 4. The minimum value is the y. So we want to find that y equals negative 4. For what interval is a function increasing and decreasing? So increasing, I'm going to again use an orange, and then my decreasing is going to be in green. So I need to figure out where it starts increasing and decreasing. So on the graph, I'm going to start over here on the farthest left point that I have, which it is an arrow, so remember it does go on forever. But as I start on this side, I need to make sure my graph goes to the right 
and I need to follow my graph as I go right. So as I go right, I'm going down, 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 down. So this is decreasing, and then it stops here, and then it starts to increase as I go up, up, up. So decreasing is that green. So this is the green part. This is decreasing. It stops, and then it starts going back up. So then we can write this. Because this keeps going on forever, I'm only going to have one inequality, so I'm going to have one just symbol. It's my x for both x, x. Now it actually starts and stops at the same spot. It's at that negative 2, the x value of negative 2. So it's going to be something to do with negative 2. Because I know it's going to keep going forever, so I don't have an extra number on here. So it's increasing, so the orange is at negative 2, but it's all the numbers that are bigger than negative 2. So I'm going to say it's greater than negative 2. So decreasing the green, I'm going to have all these negative 2, then negative 3, negative 4, everything that's smaller than negative 2. So I'm going to say x is less than negative 2. Again, I didn't put the equal to part because it's not increasing or decreasing at that value. That's where that minimum is. And on this last question, given the graph p of x to the right, again, just means y equals, identify the following. So p of 3, x is equal to 3, so that y value would be at about 3.5. So p of 3 is equal to 3.5. b, p of negative 1, so x is negative 1. We'll go to the x value of negative 1, and we'll find our graph. Looks to be at about 7.5. So p of negative 1 is equal to 7.5. g of x equals 6. So again, the y value is 6. We need to know the x. So we're going to go to that y value of 6. Here's that 6. And we're going to see how many times it crosses. It crosses there twice. Those coordinates, this coordinate here, and that coordinate there. So the x values there are at negative 2. And... This coordinate, the x value is at positive 2. Identify the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis. That is at 0, 8. The x-intercept, or intercepts, so the x-axis, here and here. Those are at negative 4, 0, and positive 4, 0. Find the maximum, so the highest point on the graph is up here, which is also the coordinate of 0, 8. So the maximum value is y equals to 8. So now we're finding the interval of decreasing and increasing. So again, decreasing, I'm going to do the same color of highlighting in green. And increase, I'm going to highlight in orange. So as I move on the farthest left point, again, these are arrows, so they do go on forever, but I'm just using this as a reference. So as I start from here and I follow the graph, I follow the actual function, my graph is going up, 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 so it's increasing. This is going to be orange, and then it comes to a peak, and then it comes back down, so now it's decreasing. This will be my green. So my orange will be all the way from here to the peak, that maximum, and then my green will be from that maximum all the way back down. Now remember, those arrows mean they go on forever, That so that means I'm only going to have one number to represent this. I'm not going to have two inequalities, I'm just going to have one inequality for each. So now I'm going to have my x and my x. The x value where it stops would be at that x value of 0, and now I just got to figure out which way it goes. So it's decreasing the green, if I look at my x of 0, it's going to be in green on all the numbers that are bigger than 0 on the x-axis. So at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's in the green. So it's going to be x is greater than 0. So then it's increasing on everything that is smaller than the x value of 0. So at negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, it's increasing. So at smaller than 0, it is increasing.